In 2015, three scientists at the Antarctic Research Station, Zarya, drilled into the ice to a depth of two kilometers and took samples to study. As they were returning to base, a severe snowstorm began. Arriving at the base, the scientists went down to the old bunker, as the security protocol told them to wait it out. Welcome to There's Something in the Ice. Okay, we're in. All right. Wow. Well, this looks incredible so far. Oh, man. So this is where we're sleeping? I got top bunk. I don't care what you say. I got top bunk, all right? No takesies, backsies. You understand? This looks really good, though. My God. Okay. So we're in the old bunker. It's 2015, we're in the Antarctic at a research station, and uh, I'm guessing that there's something more to it than just some ice samples that I got. What is all down here, dude? It looks like it's all in like uh, Russian or something. I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure Zarya, the name Zarya is a Russian name, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, though. Ah, what do we got in here, dude? There's so much to this place already, and I just got in here. Oh, my God. Okay. Ooh, this is an eerie bathroom. You're telling me I'm showering in here? Oh, nope. That's a toilet. Never mind. These are not showers. These are toilets. What is that? Is that vodka? Yeah. It's definitely Russian. Can I get in here? I can. This looks like a supply closet or something. Or a room. I don't know. Best dogs. Complete and balanced food for your legged... Your four-legged friend. <laughs> nice. So we have a dog down here or something then? What's in here, huh? nothing. Just looks like a boiler or something. I don't know what these are. Big old tanks. Might be water. Something. Alright, let's head back this way. Got a little bit of a run on us. Nothing too crazy. Oh, there you go. There's one of my co uh, colleagues. Finally, I found another human being. What's up? How you doing, girl? Bye. I can I not talk to I can't talk to you. Okay. You do not you you just don't want to talk. That's fine. It's a big ass space heater. Nice. This is a nice little living space. I'm not gonna lie. This is a lot nicer than I expected it to be. Although I would be kind of terrified to be like underground in the Antarctic. I don't know why. I just feel like I'd be terrified to be underground at all, but Oh, can I talk to you? Oh, there we go. Uh, listen, remind me why we work in this godforsaken abandoned hole. Are you talking about the Arctic or this Cold War bunker? <laughs> oh, this is a Cold War bunker. That's actually really cool. And I do like that there's voice acting. God damn, that's cool. About the bunker. It's so creepy here at times. Yes, it's scary for me here too. And regarding your question, you remember that strong storm that started? And we had to come down here. Plus, it's good that there's an old laboratory down here. That way we didn't have to move the equipment from the station. Huh. That's pretty solid. Yes, I remember. The question was rhetorical. God, in two years with us, you still haven't learned to understand jokes, Victor. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, you better be. You better be. I'm kidding. Okay. What about those samples that we found? You'd better ask our microbiologist about that. All right, is that that girl that didn't want to talk to me that just kind of cold-shouldered me? That's fine. I get that. She probably still doesn't want to talk to me, man. <laughs> okay, I'll go ask. 
All right. This is so beautiful looking, though. I really like this. Now, I do know that this, uh, it says that this atmosphere for this game was inspired by the film The Thing. And I don't know if you guys remember that movie or seen that movie, but that was an incredible, incredible movie. Super spooky. Really well done. And, uh, yeah, that's one of those classics for me that will never go out of style. But I was saying to say that because they definitely nailed it on the head with the atmosphere already. Uh, I can already kind of feel the vibes of it. And I haven't even really gotten into this. Are you the microbiologist? Yep. Hello, Maya. How are things going here? It's good that there's equipment here, and we can properly study the samples. That is good. That's what I'm asking. Well, what do you think? What did we find? I'm not exactly sure yet, but it looks like some kind of microorganism. Mmm. What do you mean by microorganism? Looks like we found what we were looking for, Thomas. We need to examine these samples to understand exactly what they are. Let's observe further. Okay. I'll go contact the Zved Zvedsta? The Zvedsta station. The storm should have reached them by now. I'll find out if they went down to the shelter. Alright. We gotta go call some station. Where are we making this phone call at? Doesn't really give me directions. I should contact Zvedsta station and see how they are doing. Yes. Yes, we should. But where? This is the door to the basement. I don't need to go there now. Yet. That's some foreshadowing right there. Alright, can I make a call from in here? So we got ourselves a computer. Nice, uh, Windows 99 on that, I'm sure. Or XP, maybe? Maybe that's an XP one. <laughs> There's no, like, phone for me to call anybody here. Hey, Victor, you want to call somebody or not, nah, dude? So I'm over here just trying to figure out how to do this, and you're just watching me struggle. So that's, uh, much appreciated. I, 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 I really like you. Oh! There's a big door? Okay. What's with this, like, heartbeat sound? What's going on here? Vice in here. What is in here? What? What is with this noise in here, dude? All right. Yep. Nope. I'm out of here. I don't know what's with the noise in there, dude. But it sounds like a heart beating or something. All right. I didn't. Uh, I didn't really check over here and stuff, did I? Oh, there's the phone. Nothing else in here, just the phone, huh? Okay. Svetsta Station. Zarya is calling. Can you hear me? It's just noise. I repeat. Svetsta Station. Zarya is calling. Can you hear? I can hear you, Zarya. Ah, there you are. How are you doing there? Did you manage to go down to the shelter? Yeah. We're here. We're doing fine. Only our newcomer turns out to be claustrophobic. He doesn't seem to be doing too well with this tight quarters. Yeah. Who even sent him down here? Damn scientist. <laughs> Damn scientist. Don't you know he's claustrophobic? Uh, well, I heard that someone from the government insisted on his transfer to the station. Well, of course they did. By the way, Ma said you guys found something interesting. She didn't say that to me. She just said it was a microorganism. She didn't seem like too crazy about it. I don't know. Maybe she was just playing it off though. I don't know yet whether this is interesting. She's trying to find out what we found. Okay, keep us posted. We'll continue to explore that rock we came across yesterday. All right. And you keep us informed. Over. Okay, over. It was a good talk. I had a good time. You know, I didn't get your name, radio guy or telephone guy. Really wish I would have gotten your name. All right, let's head back. I guess go talk to Maya again. Oh, Maya and Victor are together. What's up, guys? How we doing? Do we make a breakthrough? Y'all just gonna 
You guys are just gonna ignore me. Ignore me. Okay, that's that's fine, I guess. Didn't want to be down here with you guys anyway. All right, can I do some over here now that Victor's gone or something? Is there some over here I can do? No. Huh. Oh, I need to pour some tea and rest a bit. All right, let's do it. Kind of wish it would like tell me what I have to do next. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just kind of guessing. Oh my god, dude! What's your problem, Victor? Why are you running up on me like that? I swear to God, I should pour this hot tea in your damn face. I s oh, you son of a! Oh my god! All right. Whew! It's gonna be like that. Damn it, Victor! Why the hell are you creeping up? I almost poured boiling water on you. Yeah, that's exactly. Thank you. Sorry, Thomas. Maya's calling you. I don't care. She says she's discovered something. Oh, I don't care. I I don't give a shit if she discovered the planet. I just you suck. Ugh, sorry, I'm upset. <laughs> okay, let's go see what she wants. Lucky. You are lucky. Really like this uh, steam. <laughs> this looks like smoke. It's great. Hey, Thomas. What's up, Maya? You just won't believe it. And you better put that mug on the table. Take a look at this. Okay. I'm not putting my mug down. What? What is that? What'd you just show me? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what did I just see? You just saw an ancient organism awakening after being frozen in ice for thousands of years. That can't be good. Like, that just... This can't be good. This is gonna be the end of the world. Pretty sure. How is this possible? I don't know. We need to report this as soon as possible and get down to research. Do we have everything you need here? Not quite everything that is needed, but there is. We need to somehow send a sample to our guys from the Institute. Agreed. Okay, you keep researching. I'll go take a rest. <laughs> Great, that's awesome. Good work. All right, you keep working, and I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> Contact the Hawaiian Institute of Microbiology. Tell them what we found. Maya, describe everything to them in detail. Congratulations, guys. Great job. I'll go take a little rest. Maybe by then the storm will be over. And then we'll think about how to send the samples to the laboratory in Hawaii. Alright, well, I was, I was just gonna go rest. When did we take care of that already? That was... That was good. Good work, team. I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> ah. Doing nothing. Son of a... What was that? Somebody broke something, obviously. Out here destroying the damn lab. You know what? This is why we can't have nice things. This is why this place looks like a shithole. It's because of you guys breaking shit. Where'd you go? Stop playing with me. Where the hell y'all go? Maya? Victor? Are you here? What was that? Alright, what's going on here, dude? There's something happening. Oh! God! What's your guys' problem, huh? Why are you out here not answering me when I call to you, you sons of bitches? You guys are- okay, whatever. Stupid piece of- Okay. <laughs> What's happened? Have you contacted Hawaii? They didn't get in touch. Damn radio doesn't even work anymore. Just static. Mm, that's not good. Oh, it's probably all because of the storm. Yeah, most likely. Or maybe it's because it's a Cold War bunker and all the equipment is older than we are. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, okay. I'll try to fix this thing, and you can do something else for now. Alright. Cool, sounds good. Y'all get out of here. I'm just gonna get in my way. What 
What's that noise? Oh, is that a dog? Is that the puppo? Where the puppo? Did I fix it, by the way? <laughs> oh, there's the puppos. Oh, there's so many. How are you guys doing? Everything is fine? Are you bored? Well, of course it's boring here. <laughs> Poor doggos. They just want to hang out and chill. They're bored. Why is there... Oh. I guess there's three... Uh, yeah, like food bowls and water bowls. I was like, why is there six bowls for three dogs? That's because I'm an idiot. Alright, uh, do I... Go in here and pet you guys? What's up? How are we doing? You guys are so cute. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of you guys. Hi. Big fan of you guys. Do you guys want some food or something? Am I... Am I not doing something right? I don't know. Let's just close that back up, I guess. See if I can go grab their food from that... Other room. Oh, yeah, I can. Cool. Here we go. Get that. Are we ready for dinner time? There you go. Good job, guys. Bon appetit. Soon the storm will end and we will all come out of here together. We will breathe fresh arctic air. We'll play in the snow again. Be patient. Just a little longer. Those poor little guys. I know. They just want to go play out in the snow, dude. Go have a good time. Hanging out. We get to breathe in that fresh arctic air. You know what I'm saying? It's locked. Why is that locked? Alright. Can I call Hawaii? Did I fix it? Nope. I didn't. Um... Maya, you're gonna have to fix it. I'll go pour myself a cup of tea and then talk to Maya. God, we really love our tea, huh? Well, what are you going to do? I'll rest a bit and continue trying to fix the radio. That's not what I'm talking about. The radio works. It's just that the signal can't get through because of the storm. I'm talking about you and Maya. Mm, what do you mean? Come on. I can see the way you look at her. Nah, Maya's been giving me the cold shoulder, dude. I ain't into her. Don't make this up, Vic. We are scientists, and we don't have time to off for office romances. Yeah, Vic. That's what I call you when I'm when I'm angry with you. <laughs> just all right, yeah. Just silence. You're just giving me the silent tree. All right. Well, okay. I like her. So what? Well, why are you waiting? Life is too short. <sighs> I once missed my chance with a beauty from the institute. Damn it, Vic. You right. You right, man. I gotta shoot my shot. Why did you miss it? When we get home, you can catch up. Nope. It was a very long time ago. <laughs> I see. She worked with me on a project, and we seemed to get along. Then I asked her out, and we had a good time. What happened next? Nothing. I was sent to Cronenheim Station, and then here. So three years have passed. Oof. Yeah. Our work is merciless when it comes to our personal lives. <sighs> yeah. Why am I telling you this? Because you work together, and for a long time. For you, work is not a hindrance, but rather a connecting link. So go to her and talk about something. We've been stuck in this bunker for God knows how long. Damn romance. <laughs> okay, Victor, you are right. Life is too short. I'll go check with her to see how the work on the samples is going. And maybe we could talk about something else. I'll try to cast a bait. Yeah, yes! Find out from her how things are going with the samples. And don't forget to ask her to examine your sample. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Alright, Victor. Appreciate it, my guy. <laughs> what a joke you are, Vic. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, yeah, I was already told about this. Okay, don't be upset about that girl. She is also a scientist. She understands everything. If everything went well for you, then maybe she is waiting for you. You seem like a grown man. You are so naive, Thomas. Go already. Find out about the samples. All right. Yeah, I mean, you write those samples. Okay, come on now. Samples in your pants. 
I got it. <laughs> God damn it. Victor. Relentless. Pour myself some damn tea, though, man. That's what I came in here for. That you just gonna talk my ear off? I can't even get myself any more tea. Alright. Let's go shoot her a shot. What up, Maya? Hey, Thomas. You won't believe it. Uh, Maya, how are you doing here? I discovered something interesting here. These organisms respond to light. Why are you messing with these organisms, bro? <laughs> How's that? I did a little experiment. I shined a laser on them and they seemed to go into hibernation. Activity dropped sharply. But when I turned off the laser, activity was restored. After I noticed this, I decided to try placing them in an airtight box that didn't let any light in. And you know what? What? They've multiplied. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't want you smiling about that. This is a problem. <laughs> yes, wow. Can you imagine? I kept the box in the dark just for a minute, and they doubled in number. Ah. Uh. How is this possible? So they reproduce in the dark? It looks like it. And I noticed something else. Mm. When I conducted an experiment with light, I dimmed the lights in the room and began to observe. I saw the most active of them seem to devour the weak and less active and become larger in size. How do you not see this as a problem? That you're multiplying these things that devour the weak and less active of their own kind? What do you think they're gonna do to us? And what does this mean? <laughs> Let me try to explain. Imagine if wolves would eat old or sick wolves from their pack, and then become bigger, more active, and stronger than before. This is exactly what I'm talking about, Maya. This is a problem. Sounds That's interesting. Right. And to be honest, it scares me a little. You're telling me. You're telling me, girl. Okay, I think that's enough work for today. We did a good job, especially you, Maya. That's for sure. I'm tired as a dog. It's already late, and we should all get some sleep. Maybe the storm will be over by the morning. Yeah, I hope so. I feel uneasy in this bunker. Yeah, me too. Just silence. Well, okay. I'll go to sleep then. Okay, I guess I am too. Yeah. But... Aren't we gonna shoot our shot? We're not shooting our shot! Good night, and sweet dreams, Thomas. <sighs> what a coward I am. Good night to you too, Maya. Damn it. I should have asked her to tea or something. What a fool I am. Yes! You are a fool! You said you were gonna shoot your shot, and you didn't. You did nothing. Now we're just going to go to sleep, alone, and cry about it. The hell? Oh, it's Victor. Damn, dude, you snoozing like crazy. I need me some earplugs. No, wait, no, I called Top Bunk. I called that shit right as I got in here. Oh, damn it. I guess I'll give it to Maya. Whatever. Bullshit. Top bunk should have been mine. Uh, okay. What was that all about? Uh, this isn't gonna be good, is it? Crap. Hey, yo, I heard some crazy shit. Everybody okay? This doesn't look good. Got a little dark here. What happened to the light? Probably the wiring is damp. I'll ask Victor to check. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. No, can we go get this light, please? Please, let me grab this damn light, or this... Oh, why? Why can I not grab any of that? Q. 
Okay. Hey, uh, Victor? Victor, are you here? Victor? Nope. And there's no one here. Where the hell is he? Oh my god, it gets dark. This would be absolutely insane to happen in real life though. Like you're you're in the Antarctic, you're a scientist, and some crazy snowstorm locks you in a bunker, basically. And this is kind of what the bunker like that would just be so crazy. I can't imagine doing something like this in real life. Even if it wasn't scary like this, I would still be terrified. I don't know why. Maya? Whoa. And what happened here? Dude, this is not good. All kinds of stuff is messed up here. Um, all right. Some keys there. I don't need anything from in here. Oh, uh, holy crap. All right, something's not right then. Can I not get back over? Oh, there we go. That's right. I got to jump. All right, yeah. Something is definitely not right here, dude. We need to start taking precaution. Uh, pre uh, precautions. Can't even speak right now. Alright, don't play around here. Oh. Yeah, we're just gonna close that back up there. We don't need to go in there. It's damn dark in there. I'm not going here without a flashlight. Oh, so now I need my flashlight. Think I saw a flashlight somewhere in the bedroom. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Try to grab it first thing. You're going to make me have to run all the way back. <laughs> just because you don't understand how lights work. Good. All right. Got ourselves a light at least. And it's not too bad. Ooh, this is really... Whoa! What the hell? Hey! Hey! Nah, 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 nah. Please, oh, please, no. Oh, great. It looks like all the power has gone out. Good thing I have a flashlight. Yeah, it's very good, very good. Oh, my God, no, no. This is, oh, this is too much. This is too much. Okay, all right. All right, be brave, be brave. What was that? Uh, Maya? Victor? You guys here? Definitely hearing the radio or something in here. What is going on? Oh, no. Uh, this is Zvedsta Station. Over. I thought we were Zarya. Yeah, I thought we were Zarya. Are we not? Wait, I'm confused. Whatever. Yep. Calling. Repeat. Answer. Zvedsta. I hear you with interference. We have some problems with electricity here. Over. Zarya. Do you hear what we found? Dangerous. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no 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 no. I would get the hell out of this bunker right now, dude. I'm walking home. I don't care how far we are. Zvetsta, hard to hear interference. Please repeat. Over. Zarya, I repeat. The stone found. This the remains of this more than eight thousand years old. Oh, that's not good. Zvetsta... What was that noise? Is that me? What was that noise? Zvetsta Station, please repeat. Heavy interference. I cannot hear you. Zarya, be careful. Find... Maybe... Dangerous... That stone... Which... We... 
found. It's something ancient. Radiation. Background, Ken. Simply colossal. Your sample. Possibly related. Be careful. Okay, well, there's definitely something really bad with the sample that we found. I think that's coming in clear. Uh, what do you mean you can't understand? No, 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 no. We can understand this very clear. He's being very clear. A lot of dangers happening with this damn sample we found. It's an ancient, colossal, monster demon thing with radiation. I don't understand how you're so confused on this. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, shit. Stupid old radio. Fucking storm. I can't understand shit. Well, great. Now the connection is completely lost. I think I can make out a couple of words. They were saying something about their find. About that stone. It seems there was something else. Something about radiation and danger. And also, it seems there was the word ancient? But I could be wrong. Well, that was some kind of nonsense. I hope everything is okay there. You really think everything, you, you really think everything is gonna be okay over there after what you just heard? Really? What was that? Something just dropped out there. Oh, I'm hearing that. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> this is so creepy. Ah, so cold here. Um, Popos, you okay? Hey guys, why are you barking here? What's happening? Scared of the dark? Oh, I don't think so. Everything is fine. Don't be afraid. Everything is fine. Who am I telling? The dogs or me? Dude, they're definitely barking at that thing that was open, and now it's not open. I am not having this. Can I open this? Nope. All right. Well, can I borrow it up then? Can I close it forever? Clearly something bad is happening right there. They're all barking at it. Why don't I be smart? Seems that dogs are afraid of the dark. I need to bring them a gas lamp. Maybe it'll make them feel safer. There was one next to my bed. <sighs> Dude. I swear to God, if I could... Whoa. That door is open. That was not open before. Oh, there's blood in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's stuck. Oh, there's blood all over the floor. Oh, God. Okay. I can hear something down there, too. All right, let's go get that lamp for the doggos. Nothing better happen to those dogs, I swear, because I will turn this off. <laughs> Wonder where Maya and Victor are, uh, went. Whoa. Yo. What's with all these noises? Whoa! Blood? What the hell is going on here? Dude, this was not like this when I first came in here. Holy crap. Okay. At least nobody touched my tea. That's fine. That's all I care about. Right, Maya's not in her bed, okay. Thought maybe she was for a sec. Why can't I just keep this? <laughs> don't come at me. Double fist and lights right now. You don't want this. We'll throw this lantern on you and set you on fire. I swear to everything that I believe in, I will set you on fire. Yeah, I hear you. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, 
Where you want me to set this light at? In there? There we go. That's it, guys. Don't be afraid. Now you have more light than me. You have food and water, so be a good little dog while I look for Maya and Victor. Good little dogs. While I look for Maya and Victor. Yeah. They're so cute. Look at that. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? Oh my god, that's... That's terrifying noise. <laughs> okay. Alright. Whoa. What's that? Was this door open before? Oh, sh What was that? It looked like a little raccoon, but that was not- that was not a little raccoon. Dude, I think that was- I think that was the little freaking organism thing that she multiplied. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what is this? Looks like some kind of growth. They are organic. What? So it's alive? Oh, I need to find the guys as soon as possible. Yes, yes we do, yes we do. We're just gonna close it on up there. Give you your space. I need to check the room with the generator. I think I heard something from there. Not this room, is it? This has all this growing in here, too. Oh, no. Yo, it's back there. Alright, do we not have any, like, firearms in this bunker? Because we need it. We need it, like, right now. Stop. You better stop with that. I need you to cut that out. Because I am not having it. Wait, was this the room with the generator? No. This wasn't it, right? Where was the room with the generator? Because I don't remember seeing that. Was that up here? I'm guessing I just gotta follow where that- Oh my- f Oh my god. Okay, yep, that light went out. Okay, that's... Whew! How was that light still on, by the way? Oh, the power was completely out. Oh, my god, my heart, though, on that one. That was... that was not okay. You guys still good? Okay. Oh, oh, it's opened. Oh, it's opening. Oh. Okay. Now it's clear why the generator turned off. This thing, it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, this is not good. Um, I would not stay down here any longer, man. I want to hear something. Oh! Jesus! What the hell was that? What happened? Come on. God. Oh, this is horrible, dude. Okay, uh, I'm guessing I don't really need anything from in here. Is there something I can do? Nope, 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 nope. Anything I could do in here? I don't think so. I mean, what's that noise? Oh, that light's flashing over there now. That's great. That's great. 
Why is this door open? And where does the blood come from? Yeah, wait, what? And that's the door to the outside or something? Because, dude, it is snowing real bad. It is quite the storm. It's clearly still going on. Dude, these noises. Stop, please. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. There's no way I'm making it out of this one. Oh! It's, uh... Taking over the bathroom. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright, what do you want me to do now? Oh, it's in here now, too. Oh, my God. This is our water. I knew that was the water. Now it's taking... It's taking over everything, dude. This thing is spreading at an alarming rate. I wonder what it is. And where did Maya and Victor go? I'm starting to worry. Now you're starting to worry. I need to check the exit from the bunker. Maybe they went outside. What? Wasn't that where I was? Or is this the exit? Oh, maybe this is the exit. Dude, it is so... It is completely snowed in, man. Doesn't look like these doors were opened. And they can't be opened at all. Snow flew into the cracks between the doors and froze. So we can't even bust out of here if we wanted to. That's not good. Crap. Oh, so much for getting it and getting out of here. Uh, excuse me? Oh, excuse me? What the hell is that? Oh, no, I don't want to get closer. Okay. No, 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 please. Oh, God. What? Oh, look at all these masks. This is still that Cold War stuff, dude. And this is the basement. Oh, no. Why are we going down here? Oh, it's full of water. Oh, I don't want to be in this. This is not a good idea, man. This is really not a good idea, man. What? What? Urging me to do things. Things I don't want to do. Is that Victor? What just happened? I don't know. I don't know what just happened. I don't know where to go. I'm freaking out. This is ramping up. Can I get out of here? Oh! No! Come on! No, come on! Come on! Get me out of here! Go! Come on! Go, come on, come on, go, go, just come on, go. Uh. 
No! You're not getting me. Ugh! 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 What is that? What is that? Ugh, something bit me underwater. Oh, no. I got bit? Oh, you know it's over for me then. You know, I'm changing. I'm, I'm, I'm going out. Oh, these growths. They are already everywhere. Why are they barking again? I need to check quickly to see if everything is okay. No! No, not the dogs! Not the dogs, I swear to God. Oh, there's some of their- There was something in that vent. Oh, okay, oh. What the hell? Dude, that thing's gone. Okay, nope. 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 No, not the dogs. Don't do that. Don't do it. Damn it! Damn it! Don't do You're gonna do it, aren't you? Yep. Leave them! No! Oh, you... Oh, you're... Now you're gonna get it. Now you're gonna get it. Now, now you done messed up. You done fucked up. Alright? Now you're getting it. I don't care. Where's the shotgun? Give me the shotgun. Where is it? I'm gonna blast this thing into the next generation, brother. I don't give a f Something dragged the dogs into the ventilation. Yeah, it did. It did. And that's your fault. That's on me. And you try to contact Zvetsta Station again? Why? Why? <laughs> Why are we not leaving? Station Zvetsta. Zarya is calling. I don't know if you can hear me, but we have an emergency here. Two of my team are missing, and I can't find them. And also, there's some kind of evil here. It seems something killed our dogs. There's some strange organic substance everywhere. Zvetsta, please answer. I don't know what to do. Please, please answer. I don't think they're gonna answer, dude. I need to get out of here. This thing is already everywhere and spreading very quickly. And what it did to the dogs. God, I'm over it. Go! Oh, oh, go! Oh, go! God, there's a powerful antenna at the base of... Oh, God, okay, I missed that. I missed that. There's a powerful antenna at the base of something. I'm sure I could probably get a, a signal out or something. Something just attacked me. Damn it! Whew, okay, sorry. I'm, uh, freaking out. Freaking out a little bit. We're gonna... We're gonna relax. We're gonna calm down. Alright, that thing attacked me. I gotta get out of here. What? Or maybe I go down this way. So there was a door down here, right? Uh, it's not that door that I go through, though, is it? I can't get through here. The passage is frozen solid. I have to go to the other exit. Okay. Don't care. Don't care. Make all the noises you want, dude. You can have this place. This is all yours. It's all yours, dude. I'm out. Nope. It's all yours. You enjoy. Ah! I need to clear away the snow. Can't do it with my bare hands. It seems there was a shovel in the bunker somewhere. Somewhere near Maya's laboratory. Damn it! Why don't we think of these things before we go do it? Because we already went and looked. We knew that there was snow. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, there's... Oh, there's something bad. Something bad's about to happen to me over here. Okay, nope. Stop. I need you to stop. There's a shovel near... Oh, there we go. Oh my god! What? 
Why? What the hell? Go, oh, great. Now I need to clear the snow. Yep. Oh my god. Ooh. Dude, this is really making me uneasy. This is really making me uneasy. This is this is terrifying. I don't want to be here too long. I think I hear dogs. Are they alive? What? Come on. Come on. Oh, it's cold. The storm doesn't seem to subside. Okay. Oh, we're outside though. We're out. I need to try to contact this vet's station on the radio. But when we left the base, we closed all the doors. Except for the recreation room on the first floor. The keys must be there. Okay. All right. Oh my god, dude. This is crazy. Oh, I really didn't expect to get outside. Oh, this is cool. This is really awesome. Holy crap. Some snowmobiles. Can I just take one of these snowmobiles and get the hell out of here? Are these signal lights? Yeah, what's up with this? Oh, there's more blood. Oh, no, there's more blood. Uh, doors to the bunker. They're open. Have the guys really gotten out of there? I don't think they did, man. I really don't think that they did. Can't go that way. Uh, I need to go to the base to get the keys to the radio room and contact the Svetska state. Yep, okay. Let's do that. Sorry, I just got a little ahead of myself. I really wanted to get up in that. Or just to go look at that. Oh, okay. Okay, we're good. It's a nice little bathroom. Okay. Keys. Here it is. Whoa! Can you hear me? Oh, yes! Please! Someone answer! Yes! I'm here! Please! Somebody! Oh, it's Victor! Victor! Where have you gone? I woke up and you weren't there. There's some crazy shit going on in the bunker. Something took the dogs away. They're gone! Thomas? Is that you? God, I'm so glad to hear you. Listen, I need help. What happened? Where are you? I'm in the hangar. I went to get fuel for the snowmobiles. I got pinned here. I, I think I'm bleeding. How do you only think you're bleeding? Can you not verify that? I'm confused. Okay, don't move. I'll be right there. Okay, I'm waiting. Please hurry. Bro, he's gonna be dead by the time I get to him. There's no way he's gonna be alive by the time I get to him, dude. There's a hangar over there. Cool. I'm out. <laughs> ah, damn it. I need to help Victor. He's in the hangar. Alright. There's light, and it seems like someone is knocking on the door. Yo, what? This is the same piece of ice that we brought with us to the base. Can't open that, it's locked. I go around, is there more stairs? How do I get up there? It's locked. Oh, here we go. Wow, this is crazy. It's Maya! It's Maya, she's in there. How can I, can I jump over this? Come on. I can't jump over this? Alright, it looks like there's another staircase that leads to it from over there. 
Hey, who's there? Victor, please, let me out. Victor, open up. What's gotten into you? Maya, what's happened? Thomas? Is that you? Yes, it's me. Why are you locked? It was Victor. He began to behave strangely. He tried to attack me. I screamed, hoping to wake you up. He blocked my path to you, and I got out of the bunker through another exit. What do you mean? Did he attack you? Yes. He chased me all over the bunker. But I was able to get out, and he ran after me. When I ran outside, he caught up with me, and locked me here in the lab. For what? Why? I don't know. Please, let me out of here. Uh, are the other doors also closed? How can I get you out? Yes, he closed all the doors in the laboratory. I don't know. Maybe there are spare keys to the lab in the break room. Maybe. I'll go look. Are you okay here? Yes, I'm okay. But hurry up. He can come back at any moment. Okay, don't be afraid. I will be right back. Uh, you know what? I don't know. You know, I'm not too sure about that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what's going on here? Maya seems to be safe. I need to help Victor. He should have the keys to the laboratory, and at the same time, I'll ask him about this situation. Yeah. You're, you're fine. You're okay up in there. You'll be alright. Uh... But yeah, I need to uh, ask Victor about this situation because I'm I'm starting to think that there's something going on with you, Missy Maya, Miss Maya. Uh, uh I think you might be. Uh, how long do I have to wait for you, Thomas? Yeah, I think I'm getting worse. I'm on my way. Listen, I met Maya locked in the laboratory, and I'm very interested in what happened to you two. She said you chased her and then locked her in the lab. What the hell? I don't trust her. It wasn't like that. She attacked me and tried to either bite me or scratch me. It was I who ran away from her and ran into the cold, just to escape. I lured her into the laboratory at the base and locked her there. I wanted to refill the snowmobiles before waking you up, but I'm stuck. Okay, wait. I'll be there soon and we'll figure it out. Alright, man. I got you. See, I, I think Maya is bad, bro. I don't know. Or maybe... Oh, no. Maybe Victor's luring me in. Hope everything's okay with Victor. He might be luring me in here. Oh, God. Okay, you're okay. You're right here. You're good. You're good. Finally. Victor, there's a lot of blood here. What happened? Uh, you sure know how to calm me down. <laughs> I don't know. I just went to get fuel to start at least one of the snowmobiles, and suddenly all these boxes fell on my feet. Ah, why are these so heavy? Yeah, I don't know. We were never told what they were storing in that hangar. Okay, what happened with you and Maya? Do you really want to fucking talk about this right now? I'm bleeding, man. Help me, please. Okay, how do I do this? That box looks heavy as hell. I think I saw a pry bar in the hangar here. Like a long metal piece. Bring it. Maybe this way you can lift the box and I'll try to get out. Okay. I'll look for Hurry. it. Hurry. I can't feel my legs anymore. Uh, okay. Hold on. I'll be right back. No, that's not good. That's not good. That's that's really not good. Where's this crowbar? Where's this crowbar? Come on. Come on. Come on. Is it over here with all these other tools? Long piece of metal? No. Where's the crowbar? My friend's dying. Oh, what the hell? All right, nah, man. You're gonna have to go get your own crowbar. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm not. I can't do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. What the? Don't know what that is. No! No! Victor! Damn it! Ah! Oh, 
Boa! Oh, no way. Oh, Victor. Oh, I need to find the keys, and get Maya out, and get the hell out of here. I don't want to get Maya out, dude. She is a monster. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Victor. You won't need these keys anymore. That's kind of a messed up thing to say. Oh, this is not good. This is really not good, dude. Uh... Ooh, I'm really not- I don't want to get Maya out of here. I want to grab one of those snowmobiles and get the hell out, dude. Like, that's all I want to do. Poor Victor, man! I really wanted to save him! Ah! Now I feel bad. Oh, it's scattered boxes! I need to find another way. Maybe there is a passage somewhere between the boxes. What? What do you mean? Can I go around this way? Oh, yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope. 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 I've seen how this movie ends. I'm out. I was like, get me out of here. Need to free Maya as quickly as possible and then contact Zvezda station and call for help. I really don't want to free Maya, dude. Can we just call her? Maya's light is on, and it's very bright. She can attract this thing. Turn off the light, Maya! Please! Turn off the light! Alright, let's go this way. What's over here? Nothing. Okay, got it. Go! Oh. Hey! Woo! Oh, I hear it. Oh, it's... Oh, what is that? Oh, what's that? What do I- what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Please leave me alone! No! Oh, I can't go around that way! Shit! Shit! I'm gonna need you to run faster, my G! I can't- I can't get over this. I can't get over this. I can't get over this. He's- he's killing me. Okay, go. I need you to run faster, my guy! I'm gonna need you to sprint like you've never sprinted before, dude. Go! 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 Whoa! Come on, man! Oh, shit! What was that? Is he over here now? Is he in the build? Oh, Maya's dead. What are y'all growing in here? <laughs> Maya, are you here? Oh! Okay. I think Maya's- Oh! Wait! Wait! How you gonna hit me through that like that, my guy? Oh, this thing is here. I need to quickly contact the guys from the Svetska station and ask for help. Where? What do you mean? Where- where am I contacting these dudes? Is it still in here? Nope. Okay. What the hell? Uh, alright, well, I, um, do I just have to go downstairs then, I guess? Where am I calling these dudes at? Oh, I shouldn't have left this open. This is a problem. This is a problem. Where am I contacting these dudes at? Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Ah. Here's the radio room. There's a large antenna on the roof of this building, so the signal should be better. Good. Okay, good, good, good. Secure all the exits and entrances. I think there are some sounds coming from the bedroom. Need to check. Why? Why do you need to check, dude? This is literally how you get killed in horror movies every single time. <sighs> okay. Maya? Alright, don't be a crazy, crazy ass motherfucker right now, okay? Don't, don't be crazy, Maya! Oh. We're good. Maya, I thought he devoured you. How did you. I managed to escape just as he broke through the roof. Whoa. What is this creature? Bro, somebody just said, don't trust her. Somebody whispered, don't trust her. This is exactly why I didn't want to free her. <sighs> I have no idea, but I saw something strange in the bunker. At first, I saw something that looked like a worm. Then I noticed that in the room from which he ran out, some growths appeared. It seemed organic. Growths? Yes. And then I decided to look for you and notice these growths in the other rooms, too. And then... the dogs. What about the dogs? Ugh. <sighs> they're... they're dead. Something dragged them into the ventilation. Oh my god. Yeah. What is this? What exactly is going on here? When you and Victor fell asleep, I couldn't because of Victor's snoring. So I decided to go and do a couple more tests. It haunted me that these organisms, after so many years, were so active. Hmm. Victor do be snoring like crazy. I get up. I started watching them again. Then I decided to go have a cup of tea. And when I returned, I saw a broken test tube on the floor. Apparently, I accidentally touched it and dropped it while getting up from the table. Oh, Maya. What? I didn't do it on purpose. Anything can happen. <sighs> anyway, we have a whole block of ice with these samples. Well, I just took a rag and wiped the floor, then took the bucket of water and rag to the toilet. After that, I went to lie down on the sofa in the living room. <sighs> Damn it. What happened? Why did Victor attack you and chase after you? When I woke up, I went to the toilet, and Victor was there. He just stood there, looking in the mirror. You know, like a zombie. And next to him, I saw an overturned bucket with a rag, and it seemed to me that the rag was covered in some kind of slime. Uh. So I asked Victor, but he didn't answer. When I came closer, I saw his empty gaze. He turned to me, but it was like he was looking through me, you know? And then what? He reached out to me and grabbed my hand. I started screaming and struggled to escape. I tried to run away from him towards you and wake you up, but he blocked my path. And then I remembered that in that part of the bunker there was a way out. I was so scared, I just ran away. Please forgive me, Thomas. She bad. She's a monster. I'm, I cannot trust her, please. I really want to have the choice to not trust her. <laughs> hey, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Victor ran after me caught up with me at the base and locked me inside the laboratory. It felt like something was controlling him. It was as if something was giving him instructions. That's for sure. Damn. Then he left, as if he heard a call. He walked toward the hangar, and after about 15 minutes, you came. We need to find him. Together, we can handle him. Tie him up, call for help. We can't do this. What do you mean we can't do it? Victor is dead. What? How? What the hell? This thing killed him. I tried to help, but I couldn't. Damn. What the hell have we gotten ourselves into, Thomas? I don't know, Maya. And to be completely honest, I don't even want to know. All I want is to get us out of here. So let's get out of here. What's the plan? We need to try to contact Zvetska Station and antennas here as are much more powerful so we can easily contact them. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Yes, we will contact them and ask them to take us out of this hell. What about this creature? The two of us definitely can't handle it. Let's not act like heroes. We'll just call for help, and then we'll tell them what happened here, and let them decide what to do. Okay, that sounds reasonable. There is no electricity, but we can try to power the radio from batteries. So I'll go to the hangar to get them, and you stay here. It'll be safer that way, and... Maya, 
If anything happens to me... Hey, nothing will happen to you, okay? Okay. Be here. Barricade all the doors, and for the love of God, don't turn on the lights. Looks like the light attracts him, like a bull's red rag. Okay. I'll be right back. I don't trust you. Really don't trust you. We need to call for help. Lock her in there. Can I lock the door? Nope. Alright. I need to call for help. Yeah. <laughs> Need to find batteries to power the radio. I think two pieces will be enough. There's probably a couple of batteries in the hangar somewhere. Did I just hear like a no or something like that? I don't know what that was. I need to be careful. This creature is somewhere nearby. Yeah, I'm just running right to it, dude. I'm getting the hell out of it. I'm getting the hell into it. Like, I'm just not even gonna mess around, dude. Oh, that's, this is great. This is, this is lovely. Ah, wonderful. Ah, wonderful. Okay, man. Okay, okay, okay. Stop it. Get this battery. Uh, now I need to take these batteries to the radio room and plug the radio into them, and we can finally call for help. Left me, Thomas. Whoa. Just said you left me, Thomas. Who said that? Is that Victor? Oh no, it's like mimicking Victor, I think. Oh god. You serious? You're serious right now, right? Okay. Yep, you're serious. Screw you! Go, go, just go, just run. Oh my god, that's a loud noise. Stop, stop. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Oh my god, stop, 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 please. Oh my Jesus. Just go, just keep going. Just keep going, just keep going. All right, Maya, stay in there. Ugh, barely escaped. Maya, I found the batteries. Now I'll connect them and we'll contact the guys. There's a note with a flashlight on it. That's not good. Thomas, there are samples left in the laboratory on the third floor that we examined. We must take them with us so that we can study them properly in more suitable conditions. I know you're mad right now. But what kind of scientists would we be if we didn't take these samples with us and study them properly? We must understand what it is. We have to. P.S. Contact the guys from Zvedsta and call for help. I'll be there soon. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't know if you're actually going to be there. Maya! We need to get rid of this crap. Not take these samples with us. Okay, that's creepy. And he's right. We need to just get rid of this stuff. We need not not to be taking it with us. <sighs> what a dumb idea. Wow. Really MacGyvered that. Zarya Station. Answer. Zvedsta, how can you hear me? This is Zarya. Hey, what? Thomas. Is that you? What the hell's going on over there? Maya said that you and Victor died. And now I hear your voice loud and clear. What the fuck? What? Why did she say that? When? Uh, about an hour ago, Maya contacted us. She was crying. She said that Victor went crazy and attacked you and her. She said he fucking killed you. Then after about 15 minutes, we heard a one-way transmission. That was you that told us what happened with the dogs and some gross that filled the bunker. We tried to answer you, but you didn't hear us. After that, we tried again to contact Maya, but she didn't answer us either. Yeah, I knew it! I knew she was bad, dude! She's a monster, man. It's not good. 
Damn, it's Vedsta. There's some real fucked up shit going on here. It looks like there was something in those ice samples we found. Maya said it was some kind of an ancient microorganism. I don't know how, but he evolved very quickly. Now this is no longer a microorganism, but a full-fledged monster running around our base, and it killed Victor. That sounds crazy, Thomas. Seriously, are you trying to make jokes there? What do you mean? How, how, why would I be joking about this? This is not a joke. It tore Victor to pieces, dragged the dogs into the ventilation. The whole bunker is overgrown with some kind of organic matter, and I have no idea what the hell it is. Please get us out of here. Please, I repeat, this is not a joke. Okay, everything will be fine, Thomas. Calm down. Did you say us? Ah, I did, didn't I? I shouldn't have. No way I can calm down. Yes, me and Maya. She's waiting for me in the laboratory upstairs. So Maya is alive? Yes, here I am. Maya and this terrible monster. Okay, calm down, Thomas. Stay safe. We're already getting ready. We'll be there in about a half an hour. <sighs> In what sense? Within half an hour? It takes about 10 minutes to fly here by helicopter. I know you're on edge, but have you seen this weather? The helicopter will blow away on takeoff. Ugh, sorry. There's so much going on here that this storm doesn't seem like a problem. I understand, Thomas. Listen, we'll be there soon. Most importantly, stay in a safe place. You understand? I understand, Zvetsta. Waiting for you. Please hurry up. I don't know how long we can hide from this creature. Over. <sighs> it's not good. She's a liar, Thomas. He said she's a liar, Thomas. He said that Maya radioed him, radioed him and said that Victor killed me. That's not true. Why did she lie to them? Because she's a monster, dude! How hard is it to figure that out? Oh, shit. That's... This is not good. Need to go upstairs to check if Maya's okay and hurry, and hurry her up. Guys, be here... No! No! Why am I doing that? No! I'm gonna wait right here. Nope. I'm waiting right here. Uh-uh. Not happening. I really don't want to go up there. Doesn't seem to make sense. Because, like, dude, I know she's bad. Especially after that conversation. If she radioed in and told them that Victor killed me. And that's clearly not the case. Then you're just being dumb, dude. You are just being so dumb. I don't know why. I don't know why we're going up here. Maya, sweetheart, how's it going? Looks like it's going good so far. Maya. Maya. Oh. Oh. Maya. Oh no. Oh. Uh, why did you come here alone? Why did you need these samples? I told you to stay and wait for me. Oh, Maya. You know what? That's... That is okay. I don't care. I don't care. She was evil anyway. No way. I won't wait here for my death. I need to get out on my own. I need to check the fuel on the snowmobiles and find the keys to them somewhere. Maybe Victor had them when he... when he died. Why didn't we check for that? Yo, I'm hearing dogs. What the hell? Why do I have to go back to Victor's body again? Is that dogs? Are they alive? What the hell? Can 
Come here, buddy. Oh, dude, it's, it's not a dog, man. It's not a dog. It's just one of those things mimicking it or something. There's no fuel in any of the snowmobiles, so I'll have to find some. Surely it was somewhere in the hangar. There were many canisters there. Am I going crazy? Oh my god. Okay, yep, something just ran across, and I missed it. And I missed it. And I missed it. Okay, 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 that's fine. That is... That's a-okay. Oh, I keep hearing Victor whispering to me. Ah! Hey, cut it out. None of that. None of that here, dude. Keys. Is that keys? Ah, oh, poor Victor. Poor Victor. Poor me at this point, alright? I was sad for Victor when he died. Now I'm sad because we just keep on being sad for stuff we don't need to be sad about. Fuel can. Check. Snowmobile keys. Check. I need to fill up the snowmobile and get the hell out of here. Ah! Damn it! You have got to stop doing that. You have, you have got to stop. All right, all right, all right. We're okay. Save yourself. Oh, dude! I just heard "save yourself." Jesus Christ! Okay, just fill up one of these damn snowmobiles and get the hell out. Thank you. Thank you. Start it up. Start it up. We're out of here. I ain't waiting around. Start it up. Start it up! Oh, my flashlight is over there. Go! Just go! Go! What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Why are you going so slow? You need to speed it up, dude. Oh, that's machine guns. Oh, they blasting that thing. Oh, damn. Woo. That's right! That's right! Yeah, bust a cap in him, dude. For what he did to Victor. I don't really care about Maya. She was evil. So you're saying that you were scratched by something underwater. In the basement, right? Whoa. Hold up. Where are we at? <laughs> y'all... Y'all kind y'all kind of came in real quick. Uh, just I, you know, <laughs> I need give me a second. Let me adjust here. All right, so we getting questioned. I did get scratched by something underwater in the basement. That is right. That is right. So I probably am infected, and I probably should be, uh, you know, quarantined or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't care about that. Did you listen to what I said? This damn thing killed Maya, Victor, and all the dogs. We need to burn everything that was on that base, so that this monster doesn't get out. We do realize that we need to ask you about what happened, right? It's our job. Yeah, sure. Sorry. So much has happened, and thanks for getting me out of there. No problem, Mr. McReady. Okay, we'll continue later. My name is Mr. McReady? Okay. Continue later, I guess. This is a creepy interrogation room you got set up here. 
Yeah, I uh, appreciate it. Appreciate your guys' time. Thank you. What the hell is this room? Ah, my head. Hospital? Where am I? Hmm. Okay. What's going on in here? How do you feel, Thomas? Hmm. Kind of, kind of normal, I guess. I don't know. I'm okay. Just a little headache. camera watching me who are you where am I don't worry everything is fine you better get some rest oh ah what do you mean everything's fine does not seem fine at all now nah, y'all are about to let me out of here get me the hell out of here Y'all about to get me out of here, huh? You smiling? What do you mean I should get some rest? I just woke up. Why should I? Why? Why would I need to go back to sleep? Where the hell am I going? Uh, ah! What is this? Thomas. Uh, Lie down on the bed and get some rest. I'll we'll be over soon. Lay down on the bed, get some rest, I'll be over soon? What are you talking about? Oh, am I changing? I knew it. I got infected. And now I'm about to become one of these monsters. Y'all should have killed me when you had the chance. Oh no. Oh. Thomas, are you okay? What a dumb question. It's under there. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty awesome. All right. There we go. Ooh, that was that was pretty damn good honestly that was pretty solid I, I did really enjoy that and uh, I could clearly clearly see the inspiration from the thing and I think they nailed it with that that was really good sure glad that's over though Woo! <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for There's Something in the Ice. I really enjoyed this. I, I think this was very well done. The only issues I had with it was having to go back and forth to grab something from an area that I had already been to. Uh, but that was totally fine. You know, I understand that's how games go sometimes. And I did really, really like it still. I think they nailed it on the head with the vibes of the thing. And I think they did a good job overall. 
Great jump scares, great ambiance, great story. Maya sucks, you know? But uh, other than that, <laughs> it was all really well done. So as always, big shout out to the developer on this. And I just hope you guys enjoyed the ride as much as I did. That is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the game down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then hit that subscribe. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. But until next time, you all take care.